Hey everybody, it's Sadie from Hip in Detroit coming to you from six different houses across Metro Detroit. We are here to talk to Century Babes today. Hi everybody. Hey. 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 Everybody wave. We are celebrating the fact that May 1st, you guys have an album that is going to be released. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Yay. Thank you. Woo. So I wanted to start this off with a little little toast. I heard that you guys start your practices off with a shot of whiskey. Is that true? That's true. Yeah. Every time? Yeah. Every time. Yeah, yeah I don't think we ever missed it. a type of whiskey? Uh, we've been rolling with this kind. <laughs> yeah. oh, it, start, it started with cheap whiskey, and then we started getting a little more sticky. And then, I love, okay, so we can pause. Yeah, we, we can talk about how you guys have these awesome backdrops, and the backdrop is actually your album. That looks really trippy when you hold up the bottom. Yeah, it's it, it, more it, sour. There you go. There. So, cheers to cheers. Uh, a great All album, right. 10 songs. Um, can't yes. wait for people to hear it. Whew. I'm not going to lie, I did tequila. I only have Werner, so I, I wasn't drinking. I didn't know where he was a shot. So. I forgot to tell you, I'm a bad person. <laughs> it's been one of those days. So first question, and anybody who wants to can chime in, is how did you guys get together and become a band? Well, Doug and I have been jamming for a long time. That's true. Yeah. yeah I was living at Doug's house um, in like 2013, 2014, okay. and he was jamming with a few different uh, bass players that were kind of coming in and out and different people. And we kind of all just fell in together, I'd say. I just mm -hmm. started playing bass with them one day, and then we started writing songs, and we've been kind of together ever since, so for about five years now. That's crazy. Wow, it's been that long. Yeah, well, you guys yeah. had a different band yeah. name first, right? We did, yeah. We were Bogart for a long time. But it was weird, because you couldn't find us anywhere. There was, like, hundreds of other bands with that name. Really? But, yeah. It's yeah. like we couldn't, you know, Century Babes was awesome when it came out as a possibility because there was like no other band called that we were we claimed the spotify profile the url centurybabes.com was available we were like oh that works so we went with that. is it hard to pick a name for a band oh my god it took a long time yeah. hundreds it's of harder than writing the music i think yeah. <laughs> well almost everything's taken we discovered yeah. yeah, I would imagine it. This I mean, point, even yeah. obscure, even really obscure things that you never even consider are taken already. Yeah, but then there's I was trying to find. I was trying to find Commander on Spotify the other day. There's like 50 different bands named Commander. Yeah, you can't find it. <laughs> yeah. That's well, a so we ran into we ran into that with Bogart, where you know we released something on Spotify, and then you had to go to some R&B artist, and it was released under his spotify profile so it's like <laughs> that's kind of a problem yeah, you have to actually name. submit the music to them right yeah how early do you have to do that before an album comes out uh over two weeks okay um yeah usually and that's just through our we, we use cd baby plug so <laughs> This music, is, this, no. <laughs> this music is really like upbeat and like it's just really fun and you guys play together super tight and it just it just sounds trippy and wavy and I love it. I love the song Weekend or The Weekend. Mm -hmm. Um but it makes me really depressed right now. I was like jamming to it and I'm like, yeah, the fucking weekend, get in my car, <laughs> like not gonna do any of that this weekend. <laughs> yeah. But it was nice to be in that mental vibe for a second. Yeah. And I also really like swatches, which you guys made a music video for. Yes. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. All of the music videos we put out, we just film in our basements, by the way. Don't I was going to say, that was for sure made in your recording studio. Who made it? Um, we did. I did, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah. Like, I, I was holding the camera at all points except for uh, when I, I was filmed. playing. And then Doug <laughs> I filmed, filmed these. So, yeah. Who it filmed you? Doug Oh, okay. Oh, you took that role. That's awesome. And I like the gold background that you have in that. It made me smile. I have one of those at my house, too. Yeah, I liked your music video for Swim a lot, too. That one was really cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was, that was one, fun we, uh, yeah, that was the one we filmed not in the basement. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, if that pool was in your basement, that'd be really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to know a funny story about the Swim video, though? Absolutely. Somebody asked us, how did you, like, they thought that the underwater thing was, like, 
an effect we did in post-production. They're like, how did you make it look like you were underwater? And I was like, no, we were actually just in a pool. So Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, how about we go around and everybody tell me their favorite track off the album? Ooh, that's hard. I know. That's why I like asking people. <sighs> or like, what's the best one to play? Like, what's the one that you're just like, you know, I want to okay. play this in front of people. I'll go first. I'm going to say Shapeshifter, which we haven't released yet, but will. And it's something to look forward to. On May 1st. Yep. What about you, Elise? Um, I think that I might second Shapeshifter. Like, oh. that song is super fun to play. It's really dynamic. And it's honestly... It's one I'm surprised we're not releasing as a single before the album drops. It's just a really good song and it's super fun to play. So, Doug? Um, Visionary is my favorite. Nice. That's also the name of the album for when yeah. you guys are looking it up. But also Shapeshifter is kind of tied with that. That's, that's my favorite. <laughs> Yeah. Uh oh, Tom's coughing. Tom's out of the band now. Um, <laughs> possibly has COVID nineteen. Man, We've gotta shut this not. interview down. <laughs> it <clears throat> never gets old making jokes about coughing now. I, I know. Why. It's it's like, it I'm like, touch my face. Oh, <laughs> I was um, on a work interview and I kept touching my face, and they were like, "Sadie, do you realize it?" And I was like, um, "I'm in my house. I hope I can touch my face in my house. Hopefully." Yeah. <laughs> Well, Tom so far successfully dodged the question. I have. <laughs> yeah. Let's move on. That's a great question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say, I, I mean, Shapeshifter is, you know, fun to play. Uh, you know, Swatches is, is a great one to play, too. That's real fun. You can really let loose, you know. So there's, there's a tough question. Who and writes the lyrics started, for all this? Our, our, uh, our cover we do by the Pillows, Bubble Town, that's super fun to play, too. So, I mean, there's... This has been the only music project I've been on where I've had multiple favorite songs on the album. I've, like, there's so many, you know. Yeah. And who writes all the lyrics? Is it a uh, mixture? Mainly me. Um, everyone chimes in. Um, but yeah, I usually hide away in my basement and write tunes. They're very clever, especially the beginning of Swatches. It kind of just makes me laugh, especially the line about poker. I don't know. It just fits really well. <laughs> Um, it's one of the funnest albums I've heard in a while, and it's just, I don't know, it's just like I want to rock out to it and like have a good time, and I think it's definitely something we need right now. So on May 1st, it's super important for everybody to kind of turn it on and forget about everything else in the world. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks a yeah. lot. Appreciate that. Christy, do you have any questions? Um, you were talking earlier about you guys were supposed to have a show coming up. So... Yeah, I mean, I think we'll definitely want to do an in-person release party as soon as it's safe. Um, it was supposed to be scheduled for May 1st, and I don't think it's, it's very unlikely to happen on that day at this point. So, um, yeah, we'll definitely. But more importantly, when am I going to get my hair dyed or cut? Does that's anybody like, know when that's really going to question. <laughs> I'm that's my number one question. Yeah. <laughs> also, when am I going to be able to buy Halloween decorations? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Did anybody see that video of Tim Robinson? He made a video like he was on Fox News and he spliced it with all the different clips that yeah. they had from the actual march in Michigan. And at the end, he's like, this is the time of year I buy Halloween decorations. When am I going to buy my <laughs> Halloween decorations? Yeah, I saw that video. It was, it was, was pretty like, good. <laughs> it was. It's funny that like a Detroiter has gone so viral over and over again. All right, guys. Well, what are you going to do with the rest of your night? Anybody doing anything fun? Uh, um, well, you know, I've got, <laughs> I've got a splash of Buffalo Trace left, so maybe. Uh, fancy. He's drinking the fancy shit. Yeah. I'm not doing anything at Me all. Me neither. Me neither. Um, have you guys tried virtually practicing yet? No. No. They don't really, I feel like they don't really have technology where there isn't like a lag. Um, yeah, I'd be concerned about latency. Yeah, it's a problem. And, we did know, just up, upgrade our internet over here, so. Yeah, I don't think it was working. And I appreciated your comment earlier about how we're tight uh, as a band, and that would just not fly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, no, that's what's awesome about it. It's just like every time it hits, it's like, yes, 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 yes. Like it's seamless and it's beautiful. 
Um, and you guys get really loud at points and I like when bands get really loud. <laughs> so yeah. that part's really great. And it's just good rock and roll, which is something a lot of people don't do. It's got a little pop tinge, but it's just like, this is a fucking good song here. Listen, <laughs> like, yeah. which is refreshing in a lot of ways. Yeah. I mean, I just want to say that like, I feel like this band is like, we always get together and we just have a fun time. We get together every Tuesday. We have band practice. We have a shot of whiskey and we have fun mm -hmm. together. And I think that really comes through on the album. It and definitely does. It also makes me feel like, you know, this is right. Like we should definitely continue to do this just because we're having a nice time. And if yeah. you're not having fun, then why do it? You know, so. it's literally the only reason to do it. Same way with Hip in Detroit. If it's not fun, I'm not doing it anymore. So. Yeah, yeah. totally miss jamming and rehearsing and recording. I miss you guys. I miss you. Get up there, throwing it out there. <laughs> It's it's every, every Tuesday we practice at seven o'clock and it's the thing we look forward to the most and it's just it's yeah this is the longest break we've ever had I think in yeah. five years oh, yeah. <laughs> crazy yeah well that's why you guys sound so good <laughs> that's easy to like figure out well awesome thank you for talking to us we will put up links to everything on May 1st highly recommend listening to the album Chris you got anything to say no, I just really like the album. Thank you. I really like your music. Elvis back there. <laughs> what? Is his I like your Elvis. Is that his arrest picture? I mean, it's fake, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also arrest. <laughs> Love it. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for chatting with us. Everybody stay safe. All right. Thanks for having Bye. us. Bye.